What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you 22 keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro. Now if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know I used to edit a lot using Vegas Pro. Whoa. I used to use this here, Vegas Pro. That's now gone, and I'm going to be using Bang Premiere Pro. Adobe, if you want to hit me up, check that out right there. But anyway, whether you're a beginner or you're experienced in Premiere Pro, these are, in my opinion, the most useful tools and shortcuts you can use for Premiere Pro. Now, with that being said, let's get to it. At number one, pressing V on your keyboard is the selection tool, which simply allows you to click on your clips, drag them around on your timeline. This tool is probably going to be the one you're going to be using the most. Number two and three, we have copy and paste. So press Control C on your keyboard to copy and then press anywhere on your timeline, press Control V and then you can paste it in. This works not only for clips, but it also works for effects and keyframes as well. At number four, we have the razor tool, which simply allows you to cut the video wherever you want to by pressing C on your keyboard. Now at number five, if you press C on your keyboard to bring up the razor tool, this time if you hold shift and click anywhere on your timeline, you'll actually cut right through all of the tracks shown on your timeline. At number six, pressing S on your keyboard turns on or off the snap. So if you drag a clip, it'll either snap and connect. If you have the snap turned off, then you can drag it on freely wherever you want to. At number seven, we have the zoom in or the zoom out on the timeline. For this, you can press the plus or the minus button. However, I found on my laptop, using the minus and the equals buttons seems to be working for me, so try both of them. At number eight, an easy way to shrink and expand the clips on the timeline, simply pressing shift and plus, or then pressing shift and minus. At number nine, we have the most basic but simplest one you all need to follow every single day for every 10 minutes you are editing, pressing control S on your keyboard to save your project. Now at any time, your laptop, your computer, it may crash, Vegas, the f <laughs> Premiere Pro may crash, but if you are saving your project every 10 minutes, at least then you've got the backup there. Number 10, pressing spacebar that is simply allowing you to play and pause the video. Number 11 is K, which allows you to stop the video. So spacebar is play and pause, letter K allows you to stop the video. At number 12, we have something called the slip tool, which allows you to trim the video whilst keeping it in the same position. And to do this, you simply press Y on your keyboard, then drag on the clip. At number 13, we have A, which selects everything on your right side. So once you select A on your keyboard, you're going to get these two arrows. All you need to do is left click wherever you want to, and it will select everything on the right. At number 14, to select everything on the left, you just press Shift and A, and then you click anywhere on your timeline, and everything on the left is selected. At number 15, to select all of the clips on your timeline, just press Ctrl A on your keyboard. At number 16, to easily copy a video or an audio track, simply hold Alt on your keyboard, click and drag that across. At number 17, an easy way to adjust the audio gain is selecting the clip and pressing G on your keyboard. At number 18, skipping between clips on your timeline in an easy way is holding Shift on your keyboard and pressing the up or the down arrow. At number 19, pressing L on your keyboard allows you to play the video and if you keep pressing L, it will go faster and 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 faster. And number 20, if you press J on your keyboard, this will rewind the video and if you keep pressing J, 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 it will go faster and faster and faster and faster. And at number 21, if you press Ctrl plus T, it will bring up the text tool. And finally, at number 22, if you press Ctrl, Alt and K, it will bring up all of the shortcuts, which will then allow you to see every single shortcut in Premiere Pro and also adjust them to your liking.